So uh, in our last video, we left here where we were getting a build failure for uh, when we ran MBN compile and it compiled our resources. So uh, the problem was it was trying to compile it with uh, Java 5, uh, which is no longer supported. So it is asking us to use Java 7 or later, right? So let's back go back uh, to our pom.xml. Now we need to make some changes here, right? So just go ahead uh, and in your browser, just type uh, Java compiler plugin. And under that you will find uh, an example for compiling using source and target Java C options, right? So when you come here, uh, just copy these properties. So these are the properties for uh, compiler for Java 1.8 version, right? So it sets the source and target as 1.8. Now let's do that. So it's going to read these properties and let's go back to our uh, command prompt and try again MVN compile. Let's see if it works this time. So it's compiling our source file. And as you can see, our build has succeeded, right? So this is a workaround for problems on Java compiler. Now, if uh, you want to, I want to show you another thing under the same topic. So how can we compile using a different JDK, right? So uh, this is how we can compile, uh, configure our compiler plugin. So you need to copy from build or you can copy the plugins and put the build there, right? So we need to copy this plugin code and put it in our project. So I'll just create a build and then I'll put my plugins, right? So as you can see, this is a compiler plugin. It has got a version and configuration. Under configuration, we can pass uh, the path to our Java JDK version, right? So if you want to use a different JDK version. So for that, uh, now go to your location where you have your uh, Java setup or installed. So mine is installed in program files under Java. So I have JDK 14 and uh, I will go to the bin and then um, I would locate my Java compile, right? So this is my path and Java C. So this is the executable slash Java C. So now uh, it should compile with my new Java version, right? Under JDK 14. So this is how, uh, I mean, these are two options. Uh, you can either use the properties or you can use the build plugin to configure your project with a different JTK version, not with the default one, right? So that's all for this video.